Hey guys, welcome back to Rackshine and Clang 2. In the last part, we got the bouncer after getting a whole bunch of crystals. So now, uh, we're just exploring the last area of this uh, planet, Tabora, before we leave. Have some rockets. Whoop! Ow, ow. How the hell did you hit me? Kaboom. Yeah. Oh, hello. Got the glider. Cool. Press X to launch it. Okay. Cool. So we just get to glide through here. So yeah, you're actually, you see this whole uh, lava looking tunnel? You're actually right above that. So that's pretty cool. And yes, you can fall in here from the desert, so be careful. <laughs> that's why you want to cross those bridges. Jeez. Whoa. You kind of turn slow, but hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. I'm fairly certain that if you hit anything, it's, um, you know, it's an instant failure. So, yeah, be careful. Oh yeah. I think that's both platinum bolts now. So, oh, teleporter. Okay. Return to... That's not a town. This is not a town. This is, like, three buildings, and that's it. Aw, oh, zero crystals remaining in the desert. So yeah, actually, when you go out there, and then you find just a few, it'll actually tell you how many are left. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy some ammo before I leave. Because I don't want to go to the next planet underprepared. Uh, okay. Jeez, it's, exp it's expensive ammo, but it's really, really powerful. Okay. And now we're good. And now I only need... Um, you know, the most expensive thing right now is the Synthenoid. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Alright, what's next? Uh, testing facility on Dabo. Planet Dabo. <laughs> God. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to Behind the Hero after these messages. <laughs> what a nut! I almost miss that guy sometimes. Almost. Heh heh heh. Because we hate Captain Quark. But, um, okay. I thought of something I could probably talk about. Um, remember how I basically melted the disc for Star Ocean 3? Um, people have been telling me that, um, Star Ocean 1 and then Star Ocean... Okay, wait. Star Ocean 1, 2, and I think they said 4 were actually really good, though I heard um, more about Star Ocean 2. Um, I'm thinking of picking up that game, just because, you know, if even Star Ocean fans are like, no, the third one sucks, uh, that was probably not the correct one to start with, so I'm actually going to try to give it another chance, and I'm going to probably try to pick up the second one to, you know, give it a shot. Um... By the time you hear me say this, uh, it will probably be after I've already beaten the game and stuff. Hopefully. As long as my bank isn't being a dick. So, yeah. Anyway, here we are on Planet Dabo. And Planet Dabo, I remember dying here a lot. So, yeah. This one can actually get a little bit aggravating if you die over and over again. Oh, hey! Here's something new. Armor Vendor. For 25,000, you can upgrade your, um, armor. And you get, um, you know, you take less damage. 33% of all killing damage or your money back. So, yeah. I can't afford it just yet, but maybe I will be able to soon. Uh, I'm gonna save this for the things up there. Have fun! I love how they're magnet magnetized toward the enemies. It makes it so awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna bounce him. Have fun! 
suckers. <laughs> I love this weapon. Oh! You see, I killed all the other enemy. Oh my god, I just made 3,000 bolt. I can already buy the armor. I'm gonna do it. Because <laughs> why not? Oh my god. Yep. Terrifier armor. Sweet. Oh, and I've only got 200 bucks. Oh well. I'll make it all back. Don't you worry. <laughs> god. This game is awesome. Oh, no, no, not Seeker God. But I do need to. I do still need to use it, so I will. God, so much in the crates. Why do these people just... Have you ever done that before? Have you ever just, like, found a crate and then shoved, like, 500 bucks in it? You ever done that? I don't think I have. Uh, Dynamo, right. Okay. Uh, there. Boom. Eat it. Stupid robots. I don't know why, but those robots kind of make me think of Zelda for some reason. Even though this has nothing to do with Zelda whatsoever. And they don't even look like anything from Zelda. They make me think of Zelda. I don't know why. <laughs> and I don't mean like the princess. Like, you, you know what I mean. Oh, so isn't there going to be like a new Zelda game where you actually play as Zelda? And it's like Prince Link. They add, There's like an actual role reversal. Aren't they... Is that coming up? Because I could have sworn I saw advertisement for that or something. Or like I heard about it in some E3 conference or something. I didn't actually watch E3. I just heard like, you know, I heard like there was a uh, an interview where Iwata said that or uh, Miyamoto said that or something. That'd be really interesting. I'm, you know, the thing is, I should be excited about that. It's like, oh, wow, they're changing something up. But the thing is, they're not really. It's mostly just, oh, well, it's going to be the same exact thing, except you're playing as a character with a vagina. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so there's not really going to be much change, I don't think. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, yeah, we're playing as someone new, but it's going to be the same freaking series as it's always been, so who cares? Until they do something actually new, I still don't really care. You know what I mean? Like, Legend of Zelda, call, uh, call, and uh, wait, um, Legend of Zelda Modern Warfare, I'd play that. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like, the Moblins, I've got, like, M16s. That'd be hilarious, actually. Like, it, like, just be a complete parody of, like, the fantasy genre. That'd be funny. HK-22 gun. Oh, my God. It shoots out three. That's awesome. Okay, no more of this. Time for the bouncer. But yeah, this is actually a relatively easy place to die because of all these enemies shooting you. God, look at all the money! Okay. Can I fire up there? I don't think I can. No, I can't. There we go. Okay. But yeah, man, so much money! So much money! Sorry, I gotta go and get... I don't want to miss anything, especially because I'm saving for expensive weaponry. Whoa, whoa. Boom! Suck it. Haha. Come on. There we go. It's like explode already. Whoop! Alright. There's enemies up here, and there's also some down there, so watch out. <laughs> Jeez. Did you see that? I missed all three of them, and I still killed two, just with the little bouncing bombs. I love this weapon. Oh god, ow, ow. Bounce. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Aha, I did it again. Oh man, they've got like armor and stuff on them. You gotta shoot them more than once. Come on, die. You gotta hit them a lot, jeez. And they're just the little enemies. They make them really... They make the little enemies in this game badass. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, money. Love that. Aw, oh, nothing else. Okay. Let's do the HK-22 gun. That's so cool. Okay. Now I gotta get closer. Oh, nope, nope. Whoop! Good, it didn't, didn't hit me. That's what I was worried about. No, 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 no! 
Thank you, bouncer. Oh my god. Kaboom. See ya. Sorry, this le this let's play has been nothing but me just blabbering about the game. I can't. I don't have any commentary for this. I'm just playing a game in front of you. That's all this is. You're just watching me play a game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. Can I go in here? No. It looks like it's a door, but no, apparently not. Get down here. Oh, okay, here we go. I'll deal with your friends. At least while I'm not up there. I'll come up to deal with you in a sec. <laughs> uh, I think that's where we need to go. Oh, wait, no, no, that's for later, I think. Or it's something optional. All right, come on. Gotta make me come up there and dig you out. Boom! I don't even care if I took damage. Totally worth it. Ah, okay, yeah, that's where we go. But yeah, what's... Oh, oh, okay. That's, um, like an exit for something with Clank, I think. Because it was angled downwards, like Clank is gonna go down a slide or something. Whoop! No, no, no. Okay. This is actually a relatively easy weapon to um, upgrade, just because it's really, really easy to kill things with it. Um, the Seeker gun is a little bit challenging, just because it's a, it's somewhat weak. It's not really weak, but you know. It took four shots to kill the bugs every time, so... Uh, can I go in there? Clank? Yeah, whatever. I won't bother with it. Not now, at least. Not until I know what I need for that. Okay. Uh. Bouncer ammo. Yeah! Wow, four? Jeez, that's quite a lot, considering how... Wait. Where am I supposed to go here? Uh, did I miss something? Oh, I did! Okay, whew. I love swinging on these things. Oh, uh... Nobody, I mean nobody, gets by the mathematician! I guess all the good names were taken. Watch your mouth, Zero, before the mathematician subtracts your head from your shoulders! Sir, as a fellow number cruncher, could I please ask what this is all about? That moon's where we divide losers from winners before adding them to the Megacorp games! There's a challenger up there ready to reduce you to nothing! Hmm, this technology looks familiar. Perhaps I could... Sweet! Think you can get us to that moon? Yeah! So now we're playing as Giant Clank! Yeah! Superhero Giant Robot Clank! It's gonna be awesome! This is gonna be like Pacific Rim, except like better. Oh god, it's him. Hey, remember us? I'm gonna kick your oh crap, no, no! I didn't know what to do! <laughs> Whoops! Uh. Ah! Okay, so. God. I should not have just jumped into this. Okay, so when you play as Giant Clank, obviously, you know, it's a giant robot. Um. So, you gotta fight another giant robot, but there are specific ways that you want to do it. Like, you want to jump and fire your missiles a lot, because uh, that actually dodges his. You want to punch him. You want to do everything to evade and attack at the same time. I know it sounds really weird, but you don't want to really get in close quarters unless you're jumping at him like I am, and then just punching him, and then continuing to do this. It's like, jump, missile, you, you see what I'm doing. Jump, missile, punch, jump, missile, punch, rinse and repeat. And that's how I do this every time. Because jumping and um, kind of dodges his stuff. Kinda, sorta. But uh, keep in mind that you do actually have a limit to your missiles. And if you ever need uh, ammo, you can actually get it in the buildings. Or in like those balls. Same with the health. If you destroy stuff, then you'll get ammo. So you don't want to just wander around destroying everything. You actually want to, you know, get that as the fight goes. 
So you uh, press circle to fire your missiles, um, X to jump, and um, square to punch. I could have sworn there was another attack, but... Oh, there it was. Uh, if you press triangle, you throw bombs, and they do a lot. And, of course, you can get bomb ammo, just like all the other ammo and stuff. There we go. There we go. I'm kicking his ass. <laughs> Suck it. Haha. <laughs> Thugs for less sucks. <laughs> Woo! Jeez, and if you hold down triangle, you jump really far. Boing! But yeah, you actually have to be kind of close for your uh, your missiles to lock on and stuff. Jeez. I'm beating the hell out of him. Oh god, no! Woo! Yeah, and he can do bombs too, so careful with that. <laughs> Gotcha, sucker. Jeez, I'm just getting constant. Oh, God, no, no. What the hell? Oh, did you see that? I almost died. Because that was... Wow. That was... Uh, I don't know why the hell that happened. Okay, I need to be careful from here. But, yeah, not only do you have him firing at you, you've got all the helicopters and stuff, so be careful. Um... Why did I take so much damage right then? That was crazy. Come on. Well, he's about to die. Yes! Whew. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> wow. Okay, so pro tip... Don't just stand there and throw bombs. Apparently, he just keeps throwing bombs right back at you. That sucked. Oh my god, but hey, at least I won. I didn't have to try again. Divide and conquer, huh? Hey, guess you guys were prime after all. You're going to the Megacorp Games! Welcome to Megacorp Games, sponsored by Megacorp. Okay, Megacorp contestants, get ready to grapple with our Megacorp Gladiator team. And if you survive that, enter the Megacorp Battle Arena with our Mega Spider Bot and our Mega Jet Defying Mega Cage match. <laughs> then open the throttle for the all Megacorp Hover by Grace, brought to you by Team Megacorp Racing. Hustle Indigenous Population Not Owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. <laughs> Approach at your own risk. The Megacorp Games, keep it mega. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, it's like, ev absolutely everything is Megacorp. Just Megacorp, Megacorp, Megacorp. Shut up about it. <laughs> so, okay, there's a whole other area to this place, but we couldn't get there, I guess. Kind of weird. It's... Wow. I wonder how you get there. Oh, well. Um, I don't really know how, so I'm just gonna gle I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna head to Joba. Or Jabba. I don't know. Oh, hey, all the enemies are back. I ought to go through the level again and just fight and make money. But then again, we're going to the Mega Corp games. And uh, we can make more money there. Basically, what the hell? Basically, the Mega Corp games, it's just like an upgraded version of the uh, the Battle Arena from the Mactar Nebula and an upgraded, uh, you know, a thingy. You know, upgraded races. It's pretty much all it is. So, um,. Wait, what is this? Oh, enter facility. Okay. Well, um, I think next time we're going to do that. So, um, off screen, I'm just going to grind here for some bolts and just, you know, boost up my weapons and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, next time, we're going to go into the facility and figure out what's going on in there. So, see you guys then.